Hey, this is Parker, your favorite Atlanta realtor, and I'm back today with an Atlanta real estate market update for March 2022. Let's get going. Well, things are off to a great start in the Atlanta market this year. Atlanta continues to be one of the top destinations for families relocating from all around the United States. Already this year, I've found houses for several families from Washington State, New York, New Jersey, California, and we're quickly welcoming them in to the Georgia family. Atlanta is really still a tale of two markets. Most of the pressure is on the in-town, inside the perimeter market. Almost every neighborhood inside the perimeter is seeing record demand. Doesn't matter if it's east side, west side, south side, every single neighborhood, sky high demand. The other side of the story is outside of the perimeter. Outside of the perimeter in Atlanta, there's still very high demand, but there's much, much more inventory and much lower prices. And that's the basic trade-off you face when you move to Atlanta. Do you wanna live inside the perimeter in a smaller home, or do you wanna live outside the perimeter in a much larger home at the same price? The bidding wars seem to have cooled off a little bit as well. I'm very lucky I haven't had to get into a bidding war for any of my clients so far this year. And it's often hard to tell exactly which house is gonna end up in a bidding war. As a general rule, any house that is new or freshly updated is going to go quicker with more offers, but there are oftentimes strange exceptions to the rule. For example, one of my team members recently listed a home in North Decatur. It was an older home, needed a lot of work, a lot of updating. It's the kind of house that would normally sit on the market for a few weeks waiting for a buyer. But this house happened to be right on the water on a prime lot on Echo Lake. And as a consequence, it went under contract the first weekend, five offers, went under contract well above asking price. Now to contrast that, I currently have a client under contract on a brand new build in Brookhaven, and incredibly, we didn't have to get into a bidding war. So again, it's sometimes hard to gauge which houses are really gonna drive excess demand. There's some general rules, obviously, but there's a lot of wild cards, and a lot of it sometimes just depends on which buyers move in and out of the market from week to week. Timing is really everything when buying a home in Atlanta. So as always, my contact information is in the box below. Feel free to reach out, send me a text, send me an email, give me a phone call. I'd love to talk to you, help you start planning your move to Atlanta. Thanks.